Hi, hello, Pisces. I love Pisces so much. <laughs> so this is uh, this is Mr. Hart. This is your Pisces January 2020 reading. If your sun is in Pisces, your rising, your moon, or your Venus or any other placements, I'm gonna start with the reading. I'm gonna use three oracle card decks as well as my tarot cards for clarification plus um, writing intuitive messages in the beginning for Pisces. So I'm calling upon archangels, I'm calling upon divine spirits, love, light, I forgot to press on start with the timer, sorry. So I call upon archangels, divine spirits, guide, um, love, light, I'm receiving messages, for Pisces, 2020, January, what is going on, financial success. Love, Blossom, Ming. Good change. I just hear the whole time, love, 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 love. Oh, Pisces, you're romantic. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Um, what's going on there as well? Musically, like mus music, any directions with music, any new directions with music, and art. Okay, cool. Financial success, love blossoming, good change, music, art. This is gonna be an interesting reading. So let's start. I'm gonna first shuffle some cards. Appreciation, Pisces. Happy family. Yes, you, 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 Archangel Gabriel. Yes. It's like, wow. It's so beautiful because um, with the Appreciation Happy Family card, it's like you got to, a, you, in January 2020, you will be in a stage in a being where you appreciate everything. Like your family is so in love, everyone you you consider as family, so like in alignment, so happy, walking like running around the beach, like having a good foundation of the family because you invested a lot in your family, Pisces Nation. Because of the six. I see one five fifteen, one five as a numerology six. Six is like investing a lot, putting in the work, putting in the effort, ev like in everything, I guess. With the Archangel Gabriel, it's also like Pisces, you came to a point where you actually um, speak your truth, speak your sacred truth and um, have like an open throat chakra. Also with the three and the nine, it's a 12, it's a three. Um, maybe let's ask Archangel Gabriel, what kind of message do you want to give to Pisces? Door to romance. Yes, what did I say? What did I say? Love blossoming. <laughs> 33! I was just saying Archangel Gabriel 3 with the th three nines. I'm so loud. Uh, sorry, but here's the 33 for Deutsche Romance. God, what is going on here? Whoa! 333. Three, three. Google it up, angel number. Also 4-4 four, four with the 15, 1 minus 5 is 4, 4, 44, 333, Google those numbers please, please, Pisces, now, P click on pause and Google 333 and look up what is going on there. Uh, bottom of the deck, no, this is not gonna happen, I see broken heart, but no, like maybe you come from a stage where your heart was broken, but this is like somewhere you know, like, mm, not in 2020, no. Um, let's continue with the second deck. Okay, th those are too many cards. Um, the first four. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first six was actually my first thing. Then I said four, so let's go with the first six creates his own rules. Of course, it's my reading. Archangel Gabriel. 
two different decks. Again in number three, Google now three, 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 three. You know what's crazy? My roommate, Rafaela, this is her living room, aka room. Um, she's a Pisces and her life path number is 33. Rafaela, I don't know if you see this, but a lot of threes are going on. Oh my God, wow, I have to tell you. Wow, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, two times from two different decks. What is going on? The King of Scrolls, yes, I see you in your own like place. And you're gonna look like, oh yeah, I've done that, I've created that. Like, here, look, here are your gates from your villa. Like, so many cool things. The architect giving orders. I feel so much King of Coins energy. Like, um, you're like the architect of your reality, but at the same time, you're also the architect of like, you know, the architects and the co at the construction, they're like the people who give also the orders to like all the construction builders. And it's as if you like created your own like damn good business or like any art, any idea, any like, Anything that you worked for Pisces in 2019, 2018, 2017, all the things that you put the work for, um, you're gonna come to a place in January 2020 where you're just like giving orders. Like, you know, you like in a really good place, like all the ideas, the architect, right? The ideas, the measurements, like all the analytical stuff, like your thing. But when it comes to the practical work, you just like, yo, can you do this for me? Oh yeah, and this is your job, not mine. And yeah, do please do this and take care of that kind of vibe. And it's amazing. Uh, faded meeting. Mm -mm -mm. Door to romance has opened. Faded meeting means um, the clock is 12. If you like new beginnings, new day, door to ruins is open. You're gonna meet people who are meant to be, who are meant to come there. Faded meeting people from your soul group. Karmic people, but in a good way. I hope so. Are there good people, like are there karmic relationships in a good way? I will ask one of my guidance people. <laughs> But what I want to say is you will meet people who are you, you, whom you're gonna, going to meant to meet. Like it is meant to be to meet them. And with the blue, with the love blossoming, I feel like it's going to be good, something good. With the door to romance, it's going to be something good. Setting your course, seeing new opportunities, seeing new doors, seeing more financial success and going into that direction. Um, also, remember Pisces to have balance. As in like with the seven of forces, maybe with the seven here for faded meeting, as in uh, don't forget, don't neglect to take care for yourself first and the overflow for your partner that you're going to meet. You know, seven, seven, it's going to be successful, but you have to put it like a balance, a scale. How much is he giving into my cup, into the relation cup? And how much am I giving there and how much what I'm doing there? Or like in general, balance with like work balance with towards yourself, balance with like anything in that direction. I want to ask the tarot, the tarot cards for um, what do you mean with this King of Scrolls energy? Maybe let's ask Archangel Gabriel since he's like really present here in this reading. Okay, those two cards wanted to come out. Um, El Loco And um, one, two, three, four, five swords. It's like Pisces. Uh, I feel like with you, maybe also to bring it into balance of this King of Scrolls. It's like for me, um, I see a lot of feminine energy with the cards because here's like a woman and here like giving you stability, giving you like, maybe also with the scrolls, I feel like um, don't forget to reflect on what you've been doing and what you've been working on and um, how much you have actually sacrificed, 
how much you put into the work, how much effort you put into this work. Because you're just holding one scroll, but you have so many scrolls behind you. As in like, you wrote so many books, you put so many things into action, you put so much effort into the work that you've been doing. So um, don't please uh, neglect that or forget that. Reflect on the whole work, on the whole picture that, that you've been doing and see like the whole like the appreciation for it, you know Like don't fool yourself With the L loco. Don't fool yourself. Don't be too hard towards yourself. It will just cut into your own flesh Bring their balance The last deck Because Pisces your reading is very like amazing a lot of master numbers, a lot of beautiful things happening. I'm so happy for you. You deserve. You're worthy. <laughs> okay, let's check. Archangel Gabriel, are there more messages since you're present? Oh, like so many cards are coming. Archangel Gabriel. Ah, is this also wanted to come on? Okay, whatever. Light. Uh, stand your ground, Pisces. Seven again. Like, you can conquer the whole world, but stand your ground, you know? Like, stand your ground, bring it into balance. Um, conflict defeat, passion ignite, fulfillment of wishes, the waiting game. Throw chakra again, Gabriel, sacrifice, you sacrificed a lot. <coughs> Movement choices, decisions, it's gonna come a period where you'll be like, Oh my god, um, shall I marry? Shall I continue my business plan? Shall I um, continue more my healing? Like whatever you decide, you have like full open gate, full open doors. I feel like also it has to do then with your destiny because no matter what direction you go, it will create kind of a change in um, the bigger picture. Like everything is then shifting, but in a favor for you in your highest good. Be aware of that. Okay, um, I would just ask something like, uh, Gab, Archangel Gabriel, can you please summarize like all these cards that are just like pumped out for like a few less cards so I can get like the major message behind. If there's anything that I forget, maybe forgot to say, please make me aware of that. Please enlighten me. Please help me. Archangel Gabriel, since you're here in this reading, since I feel your presence, yes. I mean, four cards better than before, right? Okay. Do you have Aquarius in your chart? I don't know, because the same cards, like... Look, three major Arcanas came out. The Hermit, the Hermit. Sorry, my... Oh, woo. The Hermit came out, uh, like I feel like enlightenment, connecting your, to your inner child, elevating upon the black, the dark fog, and like seeing clearer pictures, like your third eye is like crystal clear, you're so guided by your intuition, you know how to drive your car, the carrier energy, you know how to drive your car, you're following your bliss, I see also Sagittarius, you have Sagittarius in your, in your sign, in your chart, um, it's funny because my roommate has got Sagittarius in her chart as well. Um, yeah, damn, seven, seven. Um, also, temperance, like, balance again with the cups. Understand, like, how to fill your cup and how to make it bring overflow. And um, with the Aquarius, it's like, I know. Like, you know kind of what you have to do. You know, because with the Sagittarius also, you see your opportunities, you go for them, you know how to pull the strings. And you just know, you're just like this bump ass motherfucker, like, I know what to do, you know. Okay, why, why is he like, I'm sorry, I'm tired. This is my um, last reading for today, and um, I've been just doing six readings. And it's good because it helps me really like to be on spot. But sometimes I'm like low vibing ass and I say these things as like, Bump ass motherfucker bitch, you know? Okay, calm down, Sarah, calm down. The thing is, um, what Gabriel says as well, with the four cups energy here, um, no matter what you are wanting to achieve so badly, it is in your desires, and that's why you kind of neglect somehow the cups that are already here. 
but you are appreciating them. Don't worry, I feel you. The thing is, um, don't worry. All the work that you've been putting into that, all the effort, guys, Pisces, it's coming back to you. Don't get tempted by the fear, by the hand that is like, oh, listen to me, you will not achieve what you're like dreaming for and blah, blah. Like, no, don't listen to that. It's the wounded parts or already healed parts of your ego, a sign that is um, trying to tap you, that is trying to make you tap into the illusion so you get pulled back instead of moving forward while creating a reality Pisces, i hope this was like a really resonating video let me know what you think in the comments um follow your follow your bliss financial success is coming love blossoming good change embrace your creative power it's gonna be amazing all the best Sarah. bye